So today I'll be playing Tiny Swords. Um, it's a game on Kickstarter right now, and I think it looks really cool. So I'll be going over how to play the game, and I'll go through a mock trial of it to show everybody how to play it. And if you're interested, I think it's on Kickstarter right now. I do want to say really quick that Kickstarter is really cool. The video specifically is, takes place like a retro gaming theme, and I really thought it was a lot of fun. So before we get started, I do want to say that this is a prototype, so a lot of the cards don't have um, any artwork on it. So I'll be going with the cards that do have artwork. Um, you notice there's a couple different types of cards here set out. There's blades, charms, all different graphics. We have, you know, cafe charm, it's coffee, we have the kitty hilt, whatever. Uh, how the game works is you will begin by putting together a sword, a tiny sword. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the moon blade with the um, cafe hilt. Now they all do have themes, you know, the cafe charm, you go to the cafe hilt, the cafe blade, but I like to mix and match, you can do that. So I'm gonna go with the clockwork charm. Now each charm does something different. You know, this one, if it's removed, or until it's removed, you will be using this specialty, this ability. And this one's, uh, or some of them would say, when removed, use that special, so that's that. So this player is gonna have that sword while the other player is going to have the spooky circus lucky charm. So that's fun. So go ahead and shuffle it. Uh, the mechanic in Tiny Swords is going to be rock, paper, scissors. So as you see here, parry will beat um, slice while it beats thrust and so forth. Going ahead and shuffling the cards in order to play them. So each player will draw and let's say he draws thrust. This player is looking through his hand and he's looking to thrust as well. He's gonna slice, he's gonna slice. The point of the game is you wanna battle on the field with the thr uh, thrust, the slice, and the parry in order to get to the opponent's hand. Now, I'll show you what I mean by here. Uh, so since slice beats thrust, the hand's going to be laid out like this, and the opponent is going to grab a card hoping to get a part of the sword, which he did. So once that happens, the cards are reshuffled, and the game continues. So this player is going to play with a slice this time. Now keep in mind, and I'll show you it over here, that if you want to, you know, maybe trick up the opponent, you can use your, your hilt, which can be used as a slice in duel. Or you could use your Lucky Charm ability, which this one says accept and reveal only their card and play as if it were true. So for the Lucky Charm, for example, before the battle starts, so I'm going to go ahead and try that, okay? So I'm going to use the Circus Hilt for parry. Now this says that what I can do is, is bluff. I can say what I, what I played out there. I'm going to pretend that I played a thrust. I'm going to say I played a thrust. Uh, the opponent may either accept and reveal only their card and play it as if it were true, or call your bluff and reveal only your card. If you lied, you lose the duel. So they can choose. All right, they're going to say that you're telling the truth. So they're going to play their card. And since I did play this, it, but I said that I used my thrust, it's going to be played as thrust. So thrust beats that. So what he could have done is called my bluff, and if he called my bluff, I would have lost. He would have taken my card. And that would leave me with my last card, which once he gets, game's over and I lose. 